Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back today to just do some crafting. Uh, and I thought it'd be fun to make some small tags. I have this punch. I think it's Fiskars. And it's one I've had for a while. Um, and um, I actually got it at Michael's and it was in the discount pile. Uh, and I think it was there because this part where you're supposed to be able to put like a, an eyelet on the ends doesn't work very well. And I have my crocodile, so I use that anyway. But it's a great punch um, for this. This is what the style that you get from it. And I thought it would be kind of fun to make a few uh, things. Sorry, I'm just going to close this because the sun's right at my back and it's super, there, yeah, that's better, super warm. So I thought it would be fun to make some uh, tags. So what I've done is I've glued some uh, old book page uh, to just a piece of this. This is a, a sketchbook paper that I got from the dollar store and it's a nice weight. Um, and I just glued three pieces on a page and then I cut it uh, to the width that would be good for the tag, like that. So I figure I can get three from this, but I'm going to just where are my scissors? I'm going to just trim this a bit because I can see I'm going to get a bit of this edge if I don't. Um, that's the nice thing about these uh, punches is you can see the um, you can see the wording. So or see in to see what you're cutting out. So I used a, a glue stick and then I'm just going to cut here and here so that I can cut my next one. And that way I don't waste so much paper. Two. And let's see if I can get a third one. I can. I'm going to have a little bit of plain paper in it, but that's fine. I don't mind. How's everybody doing? I hope you're well. We just had our usual Sunday morning um, brunch. Uh, so that was super fun. Had the family over, all of those that are local over, and uh, which is always fun. My goodness. I have to say, those kids are adorable. And so the um, they're getting excited for Halloween. And I'm going to get to see costumes tomorrow, which will be terrific. Um, so yeah, it's so nice to have them close by. We lived for so many years away. And that's one thing the big you-know-what that can't be mentioned um, has really uh, hit home for us was the need and the desire to be near family. So I'm going to get about nine of these. We might as well cut them all while we're at it. Yeah, why not? So what are you guys working on today? Um, I just thought it would be fun to get down here and do some crafting. And uh, it's just, I don't know, it's just zen. You know? I know a lot of you have said you agree with that, that you find it to be really zen to be able to get crafting. So, okay, and just one more. Just trying to think if I have any fun stories from the visit, but just people goofing around and eating, <laughs> which there's no shortage of food. So isn't that a great size? Um, and I've got the white here down here because I thought we'd do some stamping on these. And I like having the vintage page as the background. I think it looks really great. So I have some Tim Holtz stamps and I'm just thinking will they fit? I think that'll fit just perfect. So let me see what do I have for ink. I have some archival ink. I have a green distress. I'm going to go for the red. And I don't have, I cannot find, I've been looking all over the place, guys, and I don't know if I left them at the cottage or not, but I cannot find my 
um, clear plastic, uh, what do you call them? Uh, just the bits where I put this on so that I can see where I'm doing it. So, what is it called? Do you ever have one of those days where you can't find the right word? So I'm going to set that there, and then that would certainly make it a nicer press, but yeah. Anyway, I cannot find them anywhere. So we've got a, a nice wreath there. I think that looks nice. Um, let's see what else. We've got... Gosh, I'm sorry about that noise, you guys. Oh dear. That was... Um, glue hitting the ground. Uh, so I'm just going to take Santa because I think he would be great in this red. And I'm just going to take him and attempt to put him here. Sometimes it's easier just to go like so and press him down. And that looks really nice too. Turned out well when you consider I didn't have a, you know, you're all yelling it to me. I know. I cannot for the life of me think of it. Oh well. This will be one. The sled, this will look nice, I think. I. You know what? I wonder if I should even have been doing this video. I am, I can't get out of my own way. Yeah, the sled is terrific. I like that a lot. The sled, I think I want that one to be green. And then I've got lots of words. Make merry and bright. Shall we do that one? Why not? We'll do a bunch of these and then we'll just kind of zhuzh them up a bit. Or attempt, attempt to. I have this fear I'm going to end up having to um, put a hole in Santa's head, so we don't want that. Maybe your season be merry and bright. Wouldn't these be nice like gift tags too? Could do that and then just write on the back. So that looks really good too. I just want to use different ones. Let's switch to the green and uh, see how we go. Yeah, it's really lovely here. It's been, um, we had all of that unseasonably warm weather uh, last week. It was ridiculously warm. And now it is quite cold. Like for here, um, you know, waking up and it's like one degree Celsius, that kind of thing. So that's quite cold. Let's put the holly on. And there's the holly. Can't see it quite as much. It's a bit a bit faint, so I think I'll switch colors. I don't think that is working. Whoops. So let's try instead. I think what I'll put that. Sorry, I think the red one up there. Look, I'm really having one of those days. Um <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry you guys. Uh oh. Let's try sepia. And these are just little um, uh, ink pads that I will have purchased, oh gosh, at different places. Um, and then just put them in, collect them in my little Tim Holtz tin. So I'm going to use sepia and we'll see how that works. Like that. And right here, and we'll see how, how that looks compared to the green. Pardon me, guys. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, it's hard to see that green. I like that, the brown. Um, I think we'll do this sled in the brown and see how that comes comes out as well. So I'm 
Just trying to think if there's anything exciting. I don't think so. Um, other than oh, that's nice. Really like that. And uh, we'll do this in brown since the green didn't really work for us. And then we'll get started just kind of decorating them up a little bit. So, so that's much better for seeing than the green. I mean, the green's still good, but this is just much better, I think. And one left. Let's try... I'm going to do Santa and sepia, and I'm going to do him a little bit lower, because I don't want to be putting a hole in his noggin, because uh, I plan on putting a hole at the top there. Okay. So, like I said, this is just kind of a, a craft with me kind of and then this way, his feet will lose his feet at the bottom, but that's okay. He could be standing in, his, in a chimney. All kinds of places he could be. So yeah, that turned out well. Okay, let's move our stamps over here, and I'll clean them up later. And move my ink. I'm so sorry about that loud bang earlier, guys. Ugh. All right, I want to start with this Santa. And I'm going to turn this page over because that brown splotch might be a little bit distracting for you. Let me come in a little bit. Okay. So what I was thinking would be fun is I'd like to put... Um, do you remember how we had... Uh, I think it was on the papers that we did, the little paper cl clusters, if you will, that we ma I made late or sometime last week. Um, I made, I used this little device, which I said, one thing I don't like about it is that you can't see where on the paper you're cutting, so you're kind of guessing as you go. I'm just going to grab my glue. And I'm going to put this where I plan on putting a hole, which is down here and at the top. And like that. And you could, of course, ink around these if you wanted. Um, let's do a couple more and then. I will show you kind of the next step. Did I get four? I got four. Oops. See what I mean? I'm just like klutzy today. All right. So let's do. I think the um, just looking at these. Don't want to all do only all browns, but let's do this with the candy cane. There we go. And just put. And if you have these, you can buy these already made. These little circles. Now it, that is that punch. I think is meant to cut them out. I don't know. I could be mistaken. So we've got those there and one more. Let's choose this brown one. And let's use the the other side of this, not the peppermint stick one, but the other side. And you could definitely use cutouts as well or fussy cuts. I wanted to say, um, I made an error. The fussy cuts that I've been using uh, in my a lot of my videos recently, I thought they were Roxy Creations, and some may be, because uh, there are some overlaps. Um, 
but uh, they were, in fact, uh, Lorna's from TaylorMade Journals. So I'm really pleased to find out that I, I goofed there uh, and said the wrong thing. So apologies to Lorna. And if you wanted to find them there, you can find those in her shop. They're really terrific. And you get a whole bunch, which is really awesome. Uh, so tailor-made journals. Check it out uh, as well. Okay. Now, I did this sort of thing before for non-Christmas journals. And I made them for... Um, I made them using eyelets, which is also a cute thing to do, but I just thought it'd be nice to get some Christmas paper on there. Um, and what I want to do is I want to take some of this uh, twine and use whatever twine you have if you want to give this a go. And I wanted to oh, we'll do Santa first. I want to go in like that. Or no, do I want to go in? Yeah, we'll go in like that. This is what happens when you don't do a prototype first. Go in like that. And then I have some number. Um, coins, or charms, that are Tim Holtz, and I think these are terrific for, uh, you know, for when you're doing, um, well, for any kind of journaling and stuff, but they're really fun uh, for the, um, using for numbers for uh, December Daily, if you want it. Oh my goodness, is that even going to go in there? I don't think so. So, what'll we do? All right, we'll take a piece of washi. And we will roll that on it a little bit. You could take glue. I've done that before where you put glue on it and just let the glue harden and then that gives it a firmness. If you take the washi and just roll it super tight, this should work, but we'll see. <laughs> it may not. It's not my day for this kind of stuff, is it? It's just not. I'm all, I'm all thumbs today. Nope, that's not going to work, okay. So, what's our next bit? Try some glue. So I'll take some art glitter glue. It should dry quickly. This is gonna, it's gonna hamper me for timing, isn't it? And I'm just gonna roll it with the glue. I hope this works. And like I said, this might be, this might be just too thick this twine on its own. You can see where the twine is getting a little thinner from where I'm pushing it through the glue. Okay, there's that. It went through. And then I'm just going to, I guess I only need it to put it on one. I'm gonna go like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow. You didn't get to see any of that is probably just as well for my humility, but not so much for your viewing ability to view what I'm doing. So I put the glue on the end and then I'm just going to let that kind of drape down. Um, you could tie it in a bow if you want it, but I like it just with the strings like that. And then my thought was for the top, we would... Um, some sari, or if you have seam binding, that sort of thing. So 
So I'm going to cut that in half because I don't need it to be that wide. And that also gives it a nice grungy look, which is fun. And we'll put that through there. I feel like the end result is going to be cute, even though it may have been more of a struggle than I thought it was going to be to get it together. <laughs> so I'm just going to tie that like so, and then tie kind of like a square knot so that it stays up a bit. And then that would be just a tag that you might put on the corner of a page or that sort of thing. Uh, and I'm going to, because I've got this piece of washi, we don't want to waste it, um, I'm going to take just some glue, put it down here, and I'm going to take my washi and run it along the side like that, just to give a little bit more a little more color, but just also so we don't waste. So that's it. That's our little tag with Santa. We've done some um, stamping as well. Move that over so we're in screen. And we have time. We can do one more, I think. Um, let's see. Put a little bit of glue on the end of one of these. So we'll put one on the end of the other one too. Because we only need we only need to go through one. And I'm really rolling it between my fingers. And it almost creates like those little bits on the end of your shoelaces. Uh, it just makes it harder. And washi will work as well, or tape. Um, but that hole is just so small in in these numbers that it didn't work in the instance that we that we had. So um, let's put this through here and let's grab another number, number six. Oh wait, I didn't do it that way last time, did I? I did this first. This time I am going to go in from the front. Set my glue up. And put my... There we go. And then we'll take this and we'll go in through our six. Perfect. And, whoops. That on top. And we're just going to tie a knot in there. You can l let it droop a little bit more than I do. Like, you can have it hang a little bit more if you want it. Totally up to you. And then we'll just tie it one more time. So we've got that. We turn the six. If we were to put it on a page or something, we can turn it so that it is showing the right way. So we've got that. And where's the other half of my... There it is. Take some of the fuzzy bits off because there's lots. And put that through. Of course you could use something else if you want it. You know, you could even put uh, this ribbon on, but you could also put like a hook on it if you want it. You could hang these on like a little Christmas tree or something. I think that would be really cute in your little decor. And of course you can use these this whole 
the same concept of what I'm doing for non-Christmas as well. It doesn't, it absolutely doesn't have to be Christmas for sure. Now, let's see, do we want to use a little, let's use another piece of this washi because it's here. And I'm going to set some over here and fold it over. Like that. And then just fold it over the back. And like I said, they also make really nice little little tags to put on uh, a Christmas gift. So those are the two that we finished. Uh, really fun to make, easy to do, although I did not make it look easy. Apologies for that. We'll just put that down to, um, I'm not sure, <laughs> I think a clumsy kind of day. Uh, I guess those are allowed. Anyway, um, I'm coming to the end of the film, so I will say goodbye for now, and we'll see you all next time. Hopefully I'll have my stuff together by then. <laughs> I hope so. Anyway, thank you all for uh, joining me and seeing that, you know, even I can be a bit of a bungler. Um, we all have moments like that, don't we? Okay, guys, take care. Bye.